All right, my top three three-punch combinations on the mitts. We're going to break them down in a minute. My name's Glenn Holmes. If you're new to this channel, I've taught thousands of people how to box, thousands of coaches how to teach boxing as well. On this channel, you're going to get everything, mitt work, combination breakdowns, boxing technique, uh, boxing fitness, everything you need to make your boxing training even better. All right, let's get to it. So my top three boxing combinations on the mitts. Starting with number one, we're going to do a jab first and then he's going to slip my right hand, right? So he's going to drop that right shoulder and slip that cross coming in off the jab. From there, we're going to go lead uppercut and then finish on that right hand. So a three punch combination with the slip inside in there as well. So the jab to start, slips inside off that, off that jab, lead uppercut's already in position, come back with that cross to finish, okay? So we put it together, it should be all in the same rhythm. Jab, slip, lead uppercut, cross, go. One, two, three, four. Good, again. Boom, slip. Go, one more. Good. All right, so why do I love this combination? Number one, it's got defense in there, right? So the slip of the cross, always a great defensive move to put into your combinations. You're defending that most powerful shot, that cross. So he's defending that with the slip inside. So always good to coach that. So I like it for that reason. We've got two really good counter punches off that slip inside. The lead uppercut cross, just a great two punch counter off that slip inside. We see that a lot in fights. So it's, it's just a, a feel good combination coming off that inside slip. So it's developing defensive skills, slip into the inside. It's, it's uh, building punch variety with the lead uppercut and the cross. Just a great three simple three punch combination to de develop defense and, and good counter punching. So one more time on this first combination, three punches, jab, slip in, lead uppercut, cross. Good, again. Good. And like I said about the rhythm, it's all in the same rhythm. Jab, slip, uppercut, cross, right? Now a quick tip for when you're coaching this on the mitts, after you've caught that first jab, that right hand comes in straight away, right? And the, make sure you fully extend and throw it right down that line. Boom. Make sure I'm fully extending, turning my hips, the mitt goes right over his shoulder. Now from here, I don't want to be playing catch up, I want the combination to flow. So that left mitt's got to be in position, right? As soon as I've thrown that cross, I've got to get that right mitt back quick, then he can lead. So as soon as I catch that, I'm getting my positioning back here and that right mitt's in place, boom, for him to throw that cross as well. So it's all about being a step ahead and getting those mitts in position uh, to where the combination can flow. What we want to try and avoid here is doing this, where boom, the mitt's not ready, and I've got to go here, and then I've got to get back, and I'm catching up, right? It's too late, the boxer can't flow through the combo. So make sure you're fully extending, making sure the mitts are in place ahead of time so it can flow, all right? So one more time on this first combination. Jab, slip, good again, there, right? And you hear the timing and the rhythm on that. So there's my first combination on these three, my top three, three punch combinations. Jab, slip inside, lead up a cut cross. All right, so moving on, combination number two, right? This time we're gonna lead with the cross. We're just gonna go two hooks, so cross, hook, right? Two power punches to start. From there he's gonna use this lead hook to the head to pull himself back across to his lead side, and then we're gonna whip the body shot in from there, right? So pretty simple, two hook, and then into the body shot from there. So nice and long with the cross. With that cross, he's thinking about setting up the hook from that position. Loaded up on that front leg, right? Shifted the weight forward. From there he's throwing the hook, right? He shifted the weight back to the back leg, but now he's gonna use that weight on the right side to kind of pull himself and push down into that left side again. Rotate the core to set up that body shot as well. So three power punches here. All right, let's try it. So two hook, body shot. And again, with the catching the punches, I'm keeping it nice and narrow right here, giving him a realistic zone and target for it. And then getting that mitt in position for the body shot. So two hook, good. And again, nice. See, I'm not doing too much work here. I'm, not, I'm letting him, him do the movement again. Good, a little bit of rotation from me as the coach, just to encourage that rotation. Good, one more. Nice, good. Now, why do I love this combination? Great for core rotation. So if you're doing boxing fitness sessions, it's gonna develop that core strength. It's gonna develop that rotative power as well. Um, punch variety, again, we've got uh, two power punches to the head, and now we're working on body shots. Always good to mix up going from head to body as well. So I like it for that reason. And then the third reason why I love it, it's all power shots, right? So you want someone who loves just smashing the mitts and getting the power out, this is a great combination to give those people who love power punching, your heavy hitters, give them this combination, they're gonna love it, right? So just great for developing punch power as well. So one more time, just to recap, leading with the cross, going into the lead hook to the head, dropping into position, pulling down, getting into the legs and core for that body shot right there. And the way I catch that body shot, just a quick tip for the coaches right here, reinforcing it with the mitt behind the mitt. I'm catching the left hook to the body uh, with the right mitt 
and my left mitt is right behind it as well to allow him to really dig in and get that power. Sometimes catching it with one mitt, it can't give you enough resistance and it can, it can be a little trickier, but you reinforce it, they can really dig into that body shot, okay? All right, so before we get to the third, which is probably my favorite out of these three, remember we're talking about top three, three punch combinations here. Quick reminder, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification. That way you're gonna get notified of the new videos coming out each week. All right, so combination number three, all straight punches, we've got defense in there again. We're starting with the one, two. This is great for developing fundamentals. So we're catching the one, two. Reminder on the catching the one, two, it looks like this, not like this, okay? So keep it narrow. So one, two. From there, I'm gonna throw a jab to counter and he's just gonna simply lean back, pull his upper body out of range, get the head out of range, and I'm holding this in the same spot it was just in. I'm not moving it all. He's countering with that big two, boom. So it's a simple one, two, lean back and two. Now, the reason this is good is because off that lean back, the weight's going further back onto that back leg than it normally would. And now he's got double the power on that counter because he's loaded up on that right side. You can see the weight shift there. All that weight is coming right through that into, the, into that counter punch, right? So he's just a little bit more snap and power to that counter. So he's gonna set it up with a one, two, draw me into throwing that jab, make me fall short with the lean back, and then bang, countering with the two. Ready? One, two, lean back, two. Good, again. Good. I love this on the, on the mitts as well because it's minimal work for you as a coach. The mitts barely have to move, right? It's right here, boom, there, and then there, right? So real simple, nice, easy, snappy combination and great for developing speed, developing those fundamental punches, refining that one, two, getting the head out of range as well and teaching people about range, this is a good one too because that on that lean back, they've got to lean back just enough to get out of range but not get too far where they're off balance to throw the counter. So it's just that slight movement to land that counter punch as well. So the one, two, lean back two, probably my favorite three punch combination on the mitts with, with defense in there as well. There's my top three three punch combinations on the mitts.